Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a review of cheap hotels versus pension houses in the Philippines. And I'm going to say that this is not, and I will repeat, this is not an abusive review whatsoever. I'm just showing you the difference between a pension house in Bacalod, Bacalod City versus what will be eventually, I will see a cheap hotel. Now, <clears throat> this place cost 550 pesos, which is about $12 and some small change. And uh, nothing a little bleach and soap would, couldn't cure you come in here with a big bucket of bleach and soap. I'm sure you could clean this place up quite nice. And <clears throat> what, why I'm here is because it was raining so hard last night. I got off the bus to meet a lady uh, I met on Filipina Cupid. And apparently there are two terminals in Bacalod. So you should remember that. There's a north and a south. She was at the North Terminal, I was at the South Terminal. The rain was unbelievable. It, it, it had rained for two hours, the last two hours of the six and a half hour bus ride. It was just a torrential downpour. So we, we, got, uh, we, got, our, we got our information crisscrossed. She apparently is not aware that there's a North and South or she just neglected to tell me. So. This is how the toilet works. You put water in that bucket and the water comes out of this right here. Plenty of water here, I'll tell you that. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Water comes out of here. Put it in the bucket. And you pick the bucket up and you dump it into the toilet bowl like that and, and voila you have water and with no toilet paper there's no towels you have to bring your own napkins if you want napkins so you take water you put it in this bucket if you have to wipe your tushy and the water comes from the same place now <clears throat> this place is not the Adams family but it sounds like the Adams family pretty cool that that is pretty cool haven't seen a rusty hinge in a long time and <clears throat> now although the lights work I'm going to show you the bathroom light off on but here's the light for the room now that light works except apparently at some time in the middle of the night they shut the electric off but the air conditioner still works I had to unplug it because it was too cool in here now this is my new computer station I have a flashlight, which you can see. I have a lighter in case um, <clears throat> the power went out or the flashlight dropped. And this is the bed. Now, the sheets were clean. The pillowcases were clean. The towels were clean. The, well, I thought this was actually a bedspread, like a, a blanket, but it's a towel. But I, I was so tired last night. I had traveled from... Well, I left my house at 5 a.m., 4.30 a.m., and traveled via motorcycle to the boat dock, thinking the boat was going to leave at 8 a.m., and I wanted to be there by 6 to get a, the seat that I choose, because if it's busy, I didn't want to get stuck in the middle of a bunch of people. So <clears throat> what I did was I left at 4.30 a.m. I got to the boat dock a be little before 6 but the schedule on the internet was wrong. And there's several internets. Some of them are right, some of them are wrong. I'm not gonna get into that. This is a hotel review versus a pension house. Now, the, the locks on the door, 
You don't get a key, so you can't leave your room. Well, you could. I, I, I think it's pretty safe here. I didn't hear much noise last night. There was uh, porno music. There must be some kind of bar or discotheque. There was porno music, maybe a strip joint next door, until about 3.30 a.m. But it was uh, soothing. Now I'm gonna show you, I'll, I'll, re, I'll move the, I'll move, I put the bed in front of the door, I put my feet on the door. I, I don't know where I am, I'm in the Philippines. So, even though there was no trouble, the, the people at the counter were very nice. Uh, the man who, who escorted me up to the room and turned the air conditioner on, very pleasant little fellow. I gave him a 10 peso tip, he thought I would not only we walked up a flight of stairs, but you, he was really nice, so uh, he was very happy. He was like ecstatic, like no one ever gave him a tip before. Now this is the Art Deco type of uh, environment in a pension house. And as you can see, the air conditioner is well secured to the wall with this wiring. Now we're going to plug this in. going to be a little noise here at first, maybe. No, didn't, no, okay. So the air conditioner works really nice. And um, as far as roaches are concerned, I think I saw two. Could have been the same one. He didn't bother me and I didn't bother him. Now here is the, uh, the entertainment unit. Um, TV worked, but I don't understand Messiah enough to watch television. The mirror, the mirror is good. A little smoky, a little, little like my eyes, a little smoky. And uh, now let's venture out into the hallway. So as I said, I was so tired. Now the girl was willing to meet me someplace else, but by the time I got here, it was almost 9 p.m. at night. I hadn't slept the night before. I slept four hours in order to get up at three o'clock in the morning to leave by 4.30. So the day before that, I worked 14 hours out in the sun and packing and cleaning and, and I'm still building my shelves in the house. So uh, I, I worked 14 hours, slept three and a half hours, traveled from, well, the boat eventually left the dock at 10.30. That's what I started to tell you before. The boat left the dock at 10.30 in the morning, not 8. So I sat at the boat dock for four and a half hours chit-chatting with the locals. I had breakfast out in one of the cafes. Um, then, let's see, is there anything else I wanted to show you? I showed you the plumbing, right? I don't know if I showed you the plumbing. And that's... Uh, that's pretty much it. We can venture out into the hallway. I'm sure there's lights out there. I don't even know what this place looks like. It's relatively clean. Floors are nice and shiny. This is the Rainbow Pension House. And for, for $12, it was worth every penny of it. Okay, let's see what's outside. That's a motorcycle repair. Coca-Cola, baby. Coca-Cola sign. Jeez. And a San Miguel beer. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rabbi Jew Barker in the Philippines. Actually, it was interesting to stay here last night. I got a good night's, well, I got five and a half hours sleep, which never happens. I slept five and a half hours plus a few minutes. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will leave you at that. I'm gonna go to a cheap hotel today and then we're gonna go to a nice place later. This is Rabbi Jew Barker. This place makes the end of the Porokai look like the palatial estate at the Taj Mahal in Baghdad or wherever the Taj Mahal is in uh, that part of the world over there, which is different than Mr. Obama.
up over there and over there. But let's see, is there anything that I missed? Well, I, the girl and the mother and the auntie and I are going to have breakfast. See, they have nice towel racks here. Yeah? We're going to have breakfast together at some point. It's 5.30 in the morning here. Uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching my videos. And this, once again, this is not a negative review. This by is no means a negative review on this pension house. It was worth every penny of it. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you're in the Philippines and you want to know what to do and where to go, follow Rabbi Jew Barker. Oh, I can't wait to take a shower. I just, I, no towel racks and definitely no hot water. Well, I will leave you with the thought of filling that up and wiping your tushy over this. Apparently the water in the toilet bowl comes out a little yellow. They might be using a rusty tank. And God day to everybody from Rabbi Jew Barker in the Philippines, baby. That's right, oy vey. As my friend Nick says, they're rooting on, baby. That's right. That's right.